Hi, I'm Marisol. Welcome back to my channel. And let me show you my nails. Let me start with that because that is what inspired this plan with me. I have these Live Love Posh um, sticker book. Uh, it is the Winter Wonderland from last year. And those stickers look like my nails. And I thought they would be perfect for this plan with me. I am going to use some washi, so I'm showing you what I'm going to use and some Happy Planner stickers. And so I took out those acrylographs that match those stickers from Live Love Posh because I wanted to do my own um, Christmas lights on my page. And this is the first time I'm ever doing this. I, like I said before, I'm not a doula, doodler or... Um, artist I don't draw but I thought this was cute and I was going to attempt it so I did use first a pencil to kind of trace where I wanted my um, lights Christmas lights and then I took a Pigma Micron 0.8 and I did my cable I guess you want to call it for the lights and then I used a Pigma, Pigma Micron 0 zero two yes to do kind of like my light sockets and now um i am taking the colors pink and i'm going to alternate it um as you can see i start really small with my lights and then once i got to the end um they started getting bigger and i really like the bigger one so then um when i go over it like the second time i do kind of make them bigger so yeah, um, you'll see that in a little bit. So I did use this pink. This was like, so these acrylographs I got way before they started coming out with the name. So I don't have a name. Um, I just picked a few that matched um, really well. I can only tell you that that red, it is from the primary collection or prime yeah primary collection um so the other two honestly i can't tell you um which collection they're from or what color they are um but they went really well and um so yeah i'm using it so this was kind of the start of my um plan with me I know I wanted to do this but I wasn't really sure what else I wanted to do um so yeah that's how this started um this plan with me or my spread the idea of the spread started um so yeah I'm just going over it um the only thing I can say like the only I think mistake that I did make was that before I added the paint, I didn't erase the pencil. I kind of didn't remember. Um, and once I realized the pencil was still there, I was like, oh, I'll just wait for the acrylographs to um, dry up really well. And then I'll go over it. Um, and I probably should have done that before I went with the acrylographs. But besides that, I think it turns out really cute. Um, I do wait for this to dry. And then I grab a point zero one and I go over it. I don't think you'll see it here um, because I was having troubles with my um, camera and recording. Um, I don't know what's up with Apple and storage, but I pay for additional storage and it just kept... Um, saying I didn't have enough memory and yeah so it, it just kept stopping on me so I need to figure something out for future um, videos but anyways um, I did get that quote that box quote that I put on the sidebar from one of the winter like old school books and uh, that right there I was showing you how it turned out but you'll get to see it in the picture um, so yeah, I'm using that quote and then I had this washi. This is the wobbly black and white washi from wobbly grid black and white washi 
from the Goat Girl goodies and I really love this washi and so I thought because I'm using a lot of color, um, very vibrant color, I need some black to kind of um, anchor it, pull it all in. Um, so yeah. And so here I go, I'm using those candy canes. I thought those candy canes will look good on the side. And yep, I did rip that. I don't know why, but I've been ripping my stickers more and more lately. So yeah, that's been fun. Um, so now I am going to add some lines. Um, and I'm going to alternate my days and kind of move them around my pages because I don't want them all in one section. And if you see my sidebar, I kind of um, completed it. Um, I use some of like the hot cocoa cups from Live Love Posh. And that uh, box sticker is from, I want to say the pink box, the pink, yeah, pink boxes from Mojo Jojo's um, Plan With Me. And so here I am just, I'm going to start placing my boxes on my page. So after placing, because I wasn't going to use red boxes, I thought it would be a good idea to use this red um, washi with, on top of that grid washi. Um, and that turned out to be a really good idea and cute. And so this um, quote is from which book? Oh, I can't remember, but it's one of the Happy Planner books. I wanna say it's like the sec second winter one the one with like the um, burgundy label um, because I that teal color uh, was really hard to find in teal or turquoise um, I'm not sure it was really hard to find in the books um, so I grabbed as much as I could grab um, well as much as I could find I grabbed and so those peppermints right there I'm going to use as ornaments so I'm just going to cut around them and use them as ornaments but before that I wanted to put some more boxes on Tuesdays um, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut around them and then add those to the side as Christmas ornaments um, my tree this year is going to be um, a lot of uh, peppermint and kind of pinks and red um, so I was pretty excited about that uh, this decor on my spread because it is going to mirror mimic um, what I'm going to be doing at home so I wanted to add that uh, sticker but it seemed too much decor so I just end up getting that um, mint lollipop to put on the top and then I'm just gonna add boxes um, I do add another pink box there and I lift up that sticker and I do have to cut around it because can the white is pretty thick there um, the white areas um, around it and so here I am this is when I realized I didn't um, erase the pencil before I started um, placing stickers and um, the paint and so yeah right here I'm just cutting around uh, fussy cutting around um, I'm not being perfect about it it really doesn't have to be perfect it just needed to have a thinner um, line and so here I am I was kind of figuring out how I wanted to put those ornaments there um, and I do believe that I put them next to the quote under those boxes and I like how that turned out those were small so um, it fit perfectly in that little area and pretty much that page after that is done so I move on to the following page um, 
I did not struggle as much on this side, um, but I didn't include some, like, some of the stickers that I wanted. Like, she had some books and, like, coffee or hot cocoa and something else. Um, oh, a, like, Christmas globe on the top of the the books and so I wanted to include that in this on this side but it seemed to be a lot with that cart and I really like that cart um so I didn't add that I might use it for I mean something else I, I am gonna have to um find some color that match though because it, this this is a pretty unique um I guess color scheme and so like on that side I got that teal or turquoise quote I wanted a red quote on this side so I went into the Christmas book and I found tis the season um, quote and that is what I decided to use um, I end up always like when I start I'm like I'm gonna be very minimalist with my spread and then once I get in the groove it's like I can't stop I can't stop myself and I keep adding and adding um but it like it turns out really cute in the end I mean I like it uh so yeah I I think I've found my groove and I'm not gonna apologize about it <laughs> um but I like how my spreads end up turning out um, after like my um, after the pens because then it just looks really cute and I feel like the black pen here is going to come out really nice with these colors so it'll make the colors pop more um, so I am going to do an after the pen um, I mean I usually do um, but I don't always post it, but this I might post separately and after the pen of this spread because I really like it. So like on that other side, I do the same thing. I add the ornaments and this time I put them all the way on the top because I wanted to add some color and decor on that area. And that pink box right there was the vein of my existence. Um... I knew because um, I had taken a lot of space of Saturday, I wanted to make sure I had a lot of boxes or areas to write in. And I don't know, I just couldn't get that box to look right. And then like when I looked, because I stopped and cooked dinner and came back to it. And then I realized that the teal box on that top um, was in the same placement as that pink box so I come back and I change it around um, and I go ahead and just move around all these um, boxes so yeah I just could not um, get it together and I believe right now that's when I start like moving it no maybe later on Okay, so at this point I did move it, but I didn't record it, and it is crooked, um, so I do come back and fix it. And I did add a couple of strips of the teal color that I found on an old, like, seasonal Happy Planner book, and I feel like that really anchored everything together. And then this beautiful, like, mug with the heart I thought would be perfect. And I ended up putting there in that little area right there. Um, I thought that's where it made most sense. Um, so yeah, here I go again. Fixing that box. That was the box that, my gosh, I lifted so many times. Um, but yeah, this is my spread. This is how it turned out. I really like it. I really love how the lights came out, or uh, turned in the spread um yeah and so it looks really pretty i'm looking forward to writing on this this week 
So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and let me know what your decor is going to be this year. So I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.